Solar energy is truly the worst. Wait, wait, wait. I've had solar for years now and I absolutely love it. Whew. Yeah, solar energy, you either love it or you hate it. The internet is packed with opinions, some true and some totally misleading. I'm Josh, coming to you from Empower Solar, a family-owned residential solar installation company in NYC that's dedicated to building a greener, more sustainable future. Now get powered up because today we're breaking down what's fact and what's fiction and whether solar is the right choice for you. Watch until the end to find out. First of all, who has more than $20,000 to pay for an installation? Solar panels are an investment, so naturally there will be installation costs to plan for, but there are ways to go green while still saving green. For instance, homeowners in New York can explore the low interest loans offered by the lending partners of the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority. According to their website, in some cases, the amount of money you save on your monthly electric bill can be enough to cover your loan payment. And it doesn't stop there. Homeowners across the U.S. may qualify for financial incentives, including the federal solar tax credit under the Inflation Reduction Act. This credit covers 30% of your system's costs, making solar more affordable than many people actually realize. With the right incentives and financing, it can actually save you money, not just now, but for decades to come. And that's what I love about solar energy. You have to consider the long-term savings. Okay, so maybe I can save money with solar, but aren't the panels gonna look horrible on my roof? Well, I like how the solar panels look on my house. Let's be real. Homeowners put a lot of effort into making their property look good, so this concern is valid. The wrong installer could leave your panels disjointed or disorganized, which wouldn't help the aesthetics of your home. And that is exactly why it is important to find reliable installers with an eye for aesthetics. If an installer isn't willing to talk to you about your needs and preferences, that's a red flag. We're talking about your home here. You should have a say throughout the whole process. Don't hesitate to talk to your installer about any concerns you have in terms of the functionality or aesthetics of the final design. Generally, after speaking with your installer about what works for you, they should provide design proposals and ultimately confirm the solar system layout with you. Throughout this process, your installer should listen to your concerns and preferences and design the best possible option for your home. Balancing functionality with aesthetics, now that's a green flag. So as long as I find the right installer, my roof actually could look good. Mm -hmm. But that's the problem. There's so many scammers out there and solar installers are always going bankrupt. The harsh truth is, the Federal Trade Commission reported a significant rise in solar panel scam complaints, with over 5,300 complaints mentioning solar panels submitted recently. This shouldn't diminish the fact that there are legitimate companies out there that truly care about sustainability and customer satisfaction. For instance, at Empower Solar, we have been serving customers for over 10 years, providing clean, affordable, and reliable energy that helps combat climate change and protects our environment. However, just because a company has been in business for a while, doesn't automatically mean that they're legitimate. Here's how you can verify credibility. One, check if they are licensed and certified by recognized organizations like the North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners. Number two, look at their reputation on platforms like Better Business Bureau. Unlike social media, BBB verifies reviews and complaints, ensuring transparency. Number three, watch out for red flags. If a consultant pressures you to sign immediately, offers a deal that sounds too good to be true, or provides vague information, think twice before committing. Yes, researching a provider takes time, but doing your homework to find a reliable installer will ensure a smooth process. Okay, so I can save money, it could look good, and there actually are good companies out there, but I read online that solar panels are like bad for the environment. If you're considering solar, chances are you care about both savings and sustainability. But with so much information online, it's easy to feel uncertain. We've heard things like, solar panels require mining, so they're bad for the environment, or they'll never offset the emissions from their production. Here's the reality. Yes, materials like lithium and silicon must be mined to manufacture solar panels. But once installed, solar panels generate electricity without emitting greenhouse gases. Over their lifetime, they produce far more clean energy than what was required to create them. It's important to remember that renewables could deliver 90% of the necessary reductions in energy-related CO2 emissions. That means the shift to clean energy isn't just a choice. 
It's a major part of the solution. This percentage came directly from the International Renewable Energy Agency, and there are plenty more trusted sources out there, like the Solar Energy Industries Association or the US Department of Energy, who are doing their part to separate fact from fiction. Look, while solar might not be the right solution for everyone, it has major pros for those who want to reap the rewards of the financial benefits while saving the planet. Now, I wanna hear from you. Where do you stand on solar energy? Let's talk in the comments below.